This is Linda Kennedy in Bellevue. Residential burglaries are down here, and it seems to be a team effort. I'm Paul Boyd in Shelton, where a group of state senators takes a look behind bars. I'm Robin Lloyd on Crystal Mountain. Nature has turned the tables on two of the Northwest's biggest industries. This is Ray McMacken at the Washington Athletic Club, and this little black ball will drive you nuts unless it's in the hands of an expert. I'm Al Wallace in Bellevue. I think I found an easy way to study Washington state history. Al Wallace thinks he's found the answer. This way still involves books, but it's the fun you have on the side. This is the way most of us learned our Washington state history, thumbing through pages, memorizing dates, places, and events. Wallace Collins, teacher at Bellevue Chinook Junior High, still believes in that method, but decided to add some fun to the learning. How many legislative districts are there in Washington? Um, one, I guess. Collins calls this face-to-face. -face. The kids square off and fire questions at each other. They keep asking until someone comes up with the right answer. Collins then gave the students the opportunity to come up with their own teaching methods. Jim Nordstrom invented a game called The Voyages of Captain Cook. It's based loosely on Monopoly. Throw the dice, take a card, and see if you can work your way through Cook's three voyages. The students got the hang of it and came up with other history games. This is Fernopoly. It deals with the Northwest fur trade. Then there's Dammit, the history of Washington's hydroelectric projects. Miss a question, and you get stuck behind a dam. The game about Chief Joseph deals with his famous retreat from the army. When Inez left Canada, what Chief Joseph placed in charge of? Okay, he was in charge of women, children, and the livestock. The land wars quizzes them about settlers taking over the Indian land. Answer the questions correctly, and you've learned your lesson. I believe they're learning what they need to know in order to have a background of the state and understand the problems of the state of Washington and how we started, where we are now, and where we're going. You can see right now there's a lot more action generated in something like this than it would be if we sat here every day and just looked at books. What do the kids think about it? Simple. If you've got to learn history, this is the way to do it. The Bellevue School District is impressed enough with this system of learning that they're going to make all the information available to the area's other junior high schools. We went to school too soon, didn't we? Well, this is fun, really. You know, you get the dice in your hand, you know. I never knew history could be so much fun. <laughs> Researchers have found signs.